Okay, so it's about that time again, guys, to make another craft. And what we're going to do today are make, is make 3D hands. Okay, you can do a marker. You can use color, color pencil. Mm -hmm. Or you can even use crayon. Okay, all of it will work, guys, and it will have you a really cool, neat hand that pops out of the paper. Boom. <laughs> it's popping out. <up. laughs> so, first things first, the things you will need is a piece of white paper or lined paper, whichever it is that you have. If you don't have white computer paper, that's fine. If you have lined paper, that'll work as well. Um, also, a pencil and um, coloring utensils, markers, crayons, color pencils. It doesn't matter what you use. The first thing you're going to do, though, is that you are going to trace your hand onto your paper. And if you have a hard time tracing your hand, make sure that you ask someone else um, in the house to help you trace your hand. And my hand is now traced on my white sheet of paper. Then I'm going to take a straight edge. If you have white paper, you'll need a straight edge, whether it's a ruler or another piece of paper you can line up to trace those lines. And I'm going to draw lines across my paper. But the trick is, is that I cannot put lines on top of where my hand is traced. I will show you what that looks like. Okay. So if we're looking at this, you'll see that I drew lines, but I didn't cross over my hand because we're going to put something else in there to make it three dimensional. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to connect my um, end of one fingertip to the other end using an arc. So I like to start at the fingers, but you can start at the bottom if you wish, whichever works best for you. And I'm going to draw an arch connecting those straight lines within the hand. So this is what mine looks like so far. If you look closely, you'll be able to see that I've done an arch to connect those two lines. It's already starting to pop out at us, right? So I'm going to go through and quickly do my arches. Now remember, it does not have to be perfect. I'm not expecting a Vincent Van Gogh art piece, although I know some of us are very capable of making those. You can be as creative as you like with this, guys. Have fun with it. There's one on line paper if you can see it. Now you're going to have quite a few more lines than on the printed paper. Yeah, so it will take you a little longer to color yours if you use the line paper, but it still comes out really neat, guys, if you use the line paper. In fact, I challenge you to use the line paper. Even try to use college roll paper. It's going to be a lot of lines to color, but it's still going to look really cool at the end. You don't have to use a pattern when you cut, color it, but I do suggest that you do because it makes it look really, really neat at the end. So now, if you can see, I have all of my lines and my arches on my hand right now. And you see that they're in an arch. Just like that. So now I'm going to choose which colors I want to use on mine. I'm going to choose three different colors. I'm just going to pick out the first three. Looks like I have a green, a brown, and a teal. Oops, sorry. So I'm going to find a place to start. I don't necessarily start at the bottom or at the top. You can start in any direction you want to start in. But there is one small trick to this. Okay, And I'm going to show you. If I start... With my, my lines on the hand part on the fingers I'm actually going to color in an arch way so I'm going to take my marker and I actually go around curving with the line and everything on that line or on that row should be the same color now I didn't start at the very top of the hand for this one, just so that I can show you all what it looks like. And as you color the rest behind the hand, because you have to color that line too in order to get it to pop. You will see that it looks like this and it's already starting to look three dimensional as I start to color. 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color a few more lines so that you all will be able to see my pattern. And if Star gets a few more lines colored, she'll also show you hers. As I said, mine's not going to be perfect, but you can take as much time as you want with this. And remember, guys, this is on video. So if you want to go back, if you want to watch it once, see exactly how it works, and then go back and do it on your own, that's fine too. Also, remember, I would love to have photographs of all of your 3D hands if you get a chance to make one. Remember, it's just for fun, so you don't have to turn anything in. But it is a great way to get your art in. There's my second one. And look, my hand is already starting to pop out of the page. If you notice, I've also traced this hand too. The reason why I've traced this one is so that you can see it better on the camera shot. Um, with the lighting and things like that, we all know everything doesn't always show up. So I did trace it. If you want to trace yours, that's fine too. It'll still look three-dimensional if you trace it. It almost looks like shading. Star is also going to tell us a little bit about how she made hers pop. Okay, um, so I originally used colored pencils for mine, as you can see. Miss Thurman's holding it up. Um, but here I'm using markers, and I think the trick to make it pop out is like using a little bit of shading. So if you make it darker where your hand actually is, if you can see it, like... <laughs> yeah, so if you see, <laughs> I put that at an angle so you guys can see it. So if you shade it right where the hand is going to pop out at, it's going to look like it's popping out of the page more. I know Miss Thurman is like an expert color, <laughs> so hers is like really popping out at you, even though she didn't really technically shade it. But if you shade it at the ends with colored pencils, crayons, or anything like that, it'll look like it's actually popping out of the picture, which will make a more desired result. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm going to show you what I have so far, and then I am going to hand it off to you all so that you can give it a try your own. <laughs> this right here, I've only done three lines, but you can tell right here it's already starting to pop out of the page. So I hope you all have fun making these three-dimensional hands. Like I said, give me the photos, okay? I would love to have them. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just check out our videos we've been doing. Had a lot of blooper reels. <laughs> See you all soon. Bye. Bye.